Yesterday, this video was throttled. Why? Because judges were ignored, witnesses were told they didn't have to testify, and this, oh, it exposes it all. See? JD is going hard at some of that certain Aquaman starlets, witnesses, and the reasons, well, obstruction of justice, dodging subpoenas, and contempt for court. Yeah, a couple of the call-outs in this document here are actually quite fascinating. You and I are going to talk about those today. Fun times, huh? Fun times indeed. So, hey there, do all you fine folks on this fine day, by the way. I hope you are doing excellently. And quickly, before we get started, check out and back our project. It is live on Indiegogo. We desperately need your help. 77 backers away from 1,000. You can help get us there. So, as we talked about before, the witness list for both JD and that certain Aquaman starlet have come out. There's some big names on some of these, too, if you haven't seen them. Some surprises that actually popped up as well. And whether it's evidence, these are the objections by JD's team for evidence alone. 60 pages of those, by the way. We'll talk about that in another video. And when it comes to witnesses, well, you're going to have the same thing. Now, this is JD's list. Now, right from go, something that I found particularly fascinating is the fact that this list, especially compared to that certain Aquaman Starlet's list, is pretty reserved. I mean, you have names. You can see a few of them all. Here, you have custodians of documents. That's going to be certain companies or certain organizations that are talking about things. You have certain names you probably recognize, too. But again, the list, it's actually pretty small when you get down to it. Now, what's really, really fascinating is that two of these objections, well, they jump right off the page. Why? Because, again, obstruction of justice, not wanting to do depositions, colluding with a certain Aquaman starlet. What they list here, I mean, it is explosive and then some. Now, if you're unaware of the names involved, Jody G, oh, she's an interesting one. Why? Because she was that certain Aquaman starlet's publicist, and on the last incident that was alleged. Incident 14, that happens on May 21st, 2016, in which the police become involved. That certain Aquaman starlet does not call in the police. She calls her publicist. She calls her lawyer. And yeah, if you were JD, I'm sure you would have a lot of questions for them, right? Well, this is the objection to it. I mean, listen to this. Really drink this in. Objection. Jody G was never produced for deposition, despite having been served with a valid subpoena. Indeed, Jody G is in open contempt of a California subpoena. That's bad, by the way. You want to cause your yourself some real problems, end up getting served a valid subpoena and say, hey, I'm not going to go into court and I'm not going to testify for you. I'll testify for the other side. I'll answer them. But when it comes to your deposition, uh-uh, I got nothing to say. That That's going to cause you real problems. Moreover, it continues, she was in communication with that certain Aquaman Starlet's counsel prior to failing to appear for her deposition. Now that, that's even worse because it sounds like the two parties, they were colluding to keep her off the stands, at least when it comes to Jade. Oh yeah, you'd be able to cross-examine, but you wouldn't be able to prep anything. You're not able to depose. You're not able to ask any questions. Ah, that's bad stuff. So, Jody G should be excluded entirely. I agree, by the way. If that ends up being true, they should never be able to take the stand. In the alternative, Jody G should not be permitted to testify without setting for deposition for JD's counsel. And that, indeed, that is true. It should be true. Anyhow, they should be forced to set because, again, they were told that they had to do it. Now, if you think that one's bad, well, you ain't seen nothing yet. This second name here, Whitney H., if you don't recognize it, that's that certain Aquaman Starlet sister. And this person, oh yeah, they have been caught repeatedly messing up in their stories. They have been caught repeatedly lying about things. They were caught in UK 2020, for example, out and out lying about a timeline in collusion with that certain Aquaman Starlet. And of course, Jay 
lady would want to ask them questions. Well, listen to what goes on here. Objection. That certain Aquaman Starlet's sister is represented in this action by that certain Aquaman Starlet's counsel. So you can see that would be a problem right off the bat, right? Because they're going to give advice. Well, it might benefit both, but it'll definitely benefit that certain Aquaman Starlet. Continuing. When Whitney H. was deposed in this action, that certain Aquaman Starlet's counsel cut short her deposition after a mere three and a half hours and then represented to counsel for J.D. that Whitney H. was unable to resume depositions for an extended period of time for medical reasons while also asserting that Whitney H.'s counsel intended to consume any remaining time at deposition by posing questions to their own client. So, I mean, you see that. That is a nasty little game that they were playing. They didn't want to ask questions. When they were asked questions, they cut it very, very short. And again, who is that benefiting? Is it benefiting that certain Aquaman starlet or is it benefiting her sister? Huh, you have to wonder, right? Continuing, the Monday after Friday, March 11th, 2022, discovery cutoff. So, you know, that's the day everything is supposed to be done. Well, right now, After that, you have that certain Aquaman Starlet's counsel subsequently offer the sister for deposition, but continued to insist that that certain Aquaman Starlet's counsel would consume the questioning time. So yeah, we will turn her over, but when we do that, we're not going to let you finish talking about what you want. You're not going to be able to ask questions. You see the problem there, right? So, that certain Aquaman Starlet's sister should be excluded entirely due to that certain Aquaman Starlet's counsel deliberate and blatant efforts to obstruct her deposition. In the alternative, she should be required to sit for a further three and a half hours, so they want her to sit for double the time that she was allowed. That's typical, by the way. I mean, this is a big witness for that certain Aquaman Starlet, so either let them finish the questioning or, you know, take them off the stand. Like I was saying before, that is just the tip of the proverbial iceberg. JD, oh, he calls out a lot of so-called evidence saying that there's problems with that. There were problems with metadata and so much more. And you also have that certain Aquaman starlet doing the same thing as well, sometimes to her own evidence. That's right. Things that she herself put into play. She wants removed. Well, why? Because it does not look good for her. I mean, it's really, really telling. Now, like I was saying, We have a book in crowdfunding. We desperately need your help. 924 backers. We're on our way to 1,000. You can help get us there. This is an alternative to those companies that do not like us. They put out terrible products. Instead of giving them money and instead of walking away from what we love, let's walk towards something. That's what we're offering. Something to go with that. We maintain sponsor-free living this way, too. Give you a good product. Check that out. Thank you. Thanks for being here, too. Ending with that, thank you again. See you soon.